So just below the video, you'll see a list of ingredients. So this is a chunky Branston pickle. Now what you want to do is you want to chop them all up similar size. Onion and garlic, carrot, um, cucumber, apple, and swede or something similar. Uh, this isn't swede. This is, uh, what is this? This is a turnip. And then we've got dates. And we've got some dates chopped up. And also we have some gherkins. We will need some mustard, lemon on the apple, half a lemon. Right, garlic, onion, done. Okay, so everything's chopped up. Now you can use any vegetable you want really with this. You don't have to stick to what I've got. Now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. As you can see they're all chopped up, same size. You can also get this in too. You can use prunes if you haven't got dates. So, I'm also going to add some tomato puree. Not too much. Except, well, all the ingredients are there anyway. So, I'm just going to show you the process. Yeah, and I think I forgot to mention. Courgettes, that's the one I forgot. Courgettes in there as well. So, 350 vinegar. We'll put it all in together. And just uh, 350 water. Water. Alright. And I'm going to put some molasses. I'm going to put some uh, molasses in as well. Um, you don't have to use this, but we get it quite easy in here. And let's be honest, what else would you look? What else do you use molasses for? Mm. What is it? Ginger even? cake. Ginger cake. Well, oh, ginger cake, okay. Charlie uses it for ginger cake. Um, it was a byproduct of cane sugar, isn't it? Yeah. I think. Okay, let's get all that in, let's get it up to temp, and then I'll put the sugar in. 270 mil, uh, 270 grams of uh, sugar. Now, I don't think the molasses. I'll have to remember to put that in the ingredients. As I say, it's, uh, it's optional. Let that get to, to the heat. Allspice. How much allspice is there? Teaspoon. You give me a teaspoon of allspice, please. As you can see, I've only just about used the right size. Allspice. Put the allspice in there. I know, it's my curry pan. <laughs> my new curry pan. Should be aluminium. Can't find an aluminium pan anywhere if you know you know if you do your own curries if you look in a restaurant in the kitchen and they'll have lots and lots of aluminium 
pans, frying pans that they used making the curries. Salt and pepper. I want some salt and pepper. Um, two tablespoons of mustard. What you want. Now I'm going to use the uh, whole grain, or you can use English mustard, preferably the mustard powder. There we go. So we'll come back to that in an hour. Let it simmer. Keep an eye on it. Okay, so it's just been uh, about an hour now. I started to drag this. You can see how it's uh, sticking me up. I turned the temperature up a little bit because it was um, it wasn't quite thickening how I wanted it to. You see, it's a little bit runny. But once we get to that stage where we have that liquid there, look. As you can see, look, I didn't use all the vinegar. There's still some there. And now when I did try it earlier, it was a little bit sweet and not enough vinegar in it. So I put a bit more in. Now, it's a lot sweeter at the moment. Um, I'm, but I'm not going to put... Oh, that place is so good. We're getting rid of all that moisture now. And I would say this is about there. We'll take that off the heat. There we go. That's what you want. Just a nice consistency. And of course, when you um, put it in the fridge, it's going to thicken up even more. I'm not going to add any more vinegar. So that's the amount that I haven't used and the amount of water I haven't used. But of course, you know, your apple can be big, your fruit, your apples can be bigger. So don't always follow the rules. I've never followed the rules, but you can probably guess. So just use your own judgment uh, as far as um, liquid. Now that is spot on now. Do you want to try this, Charlie? Is it nice? Ooh, it's it look, bloody... Oh my god, that looks like Branston pickle. Because it is Branston pickle. <laughs> I don't know what Branston pickle tastes like. You don't know what Branston pickle tastes like. But that tastes pretty good. It's pretty good. In fact, it's probably really better. Better, yeah. Fresher. So, we've got some... some jars here. Yes. So good. Because Charlie also makes a... Charlie also makes her own marmalade because we have a field of oranges. You've got to let it cool, put it in the fridge. I would say about a week. So there you go, nice. Branston pickle, that's hot. It's burning my hands. You see? Perfect. Okay guys, catch you in the next one. Cheers.